Mr. Uh, for your service. Uh, <clears throat> as we've heard, uh, obviously the U.S. agriculture sector is a vibrant economic engine that contributes significantly to our export efforts. We also know that uh, there are some non-tariff trade barriers that do exist around the world and that uh, these actually keep uh, United States farmers from meeting the demands, the global demands that, that we also know exist. And so as we pursue science-based regulatory efforts, uh, we know that uh, perhaps some of our trading partners are not. And we know that we've got very innovative producers here. Can you uh, tell me what USTR is doing to make sure that uh, our trading partners are, are truly focusing on uh, science-based standards as a regulatory uh, effort uh, rather than uh, more political uh, uh, results or, or even efforts? Well, we have a good story here, Mr. Smith, and in the interest of time, if I could, we do two things. One, for the reasons you articulated, one report that you mandate we deliver to you is what's called a 301 report, and that we have to tell you how our other partners are complying, say, for example, in intellectual property. I made the decision when we came into office that that was a good enough too. We now issue a similar report on specifically the sanitary and phytosanitary standards. We'll be submitting that to you soon. That's one thing. But secondly, we have um, pursued in every forum um, compliance with sound scientific standards and it has helped us. We, for example, settled a long-standing case with the European Union on their excluding our beef. We're now shipping 20,000 metric tons, almost $250 million into that market. After we have the H1N1 scare, almost 28 economies cut off U.S. pork exports. We're back in, I think, all of those economies but one. We have dealt with everything from poultry in Russia to beef in China, but it is one of our highest priorities. Uh, and we would welcome your thoughts on how we can perhaps even do better. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank you, Ambassador. And, Mr. Chairman, I do have some other questions uh, that I'll submit for the record. Thank you.